Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on this Sunday night. A complete forecast update. A wild week as we begin the month of December and begin meteorological winter. Drop a comment and let me know, are you ready for this nonsense? Some of the coldest air of the season is on its way and some more snow as we head towards Saturday. Details are coming up right now. Thanks for joining me on Hutch's Weather. Now, a Hutch's Weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks once again. Let's get started right away with the seven-day planner. It's going to be a cold start to your morning tomorrow, four below zero. We'll warm it up a bit, but still pretty chilly out there on that Monday. We're up into the 20s for Tuesday. But Tuesday, we'll have a late evening clipper move through with a chance for some passing showers of snow. Not a lot of accumulation, but with temperatures dropping where they're dropping, it's going to be cold. Look at temperatures falling from morning highs near 10 down into the single digits for your drive home. Then I've got the purple card out. What's that mean? purple card it's like a red card in soccer you ain't going anywhere because it's going to be cold and i mean you'll go somewhere but it's going to be cold nine below zero as we head into the day that's fargo some areas significantly colder than that where you have some deep fluffy flakes on the ground now friday another clipper moves through kind of an insignificant system and then another one on saturday so a very active pattern saturday's system looks to be the most promising for bringing appreciable snow to the area temperatures falling big time teens below zero on our way for Sunday. The purple card's back out and the wind chills look particularly nasty on your Sunday. So what we're going to do is take a look at the hour by hour forecast with regards to this system making its way through. And we're going to take a look at that United States view. Here we go. Now, as we put this puppy into motion, two things you're going to notice. Number one, as we uh, put this into motion, quiet weather as we start most of our Monday. Here comes clipper number one. Zip! A little bit of snow shower activity, but it's going to bring cold and it's going to bring, bring some wind as well. So Wednesday in the morning, we're going to have some pretty tough wind chills in the valley and across Minnesota with passing showers of snow Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That snow band moves south of us. Cold air moves right over the top of us. Then a warm up brief warm up as we head into your Thursday. There's your next clipper clipping through the region. Here comes another one as we go through Friday. So Friday morning snow showers. The main event, as you can see out there off to the west, this clipper a little more potent and it's track at least early in the stages of us watching it. We'll bring wind and snow as we go through Saturday. Little parade going on in the Fargo area. And it'll be breezy as we go through parade time with the snow showers on their way out. So what are we talking about for snowfall amounts? It's just simply way too early. But I can share with you what we do have and what we're looking at, the models. So the models kind of give us a little hint. In our area, we'll just call it measurable snow. Pay no mind to the numbers on this. And the pat, the track will shift a little bit. But both models, the American and the European, showing measurable snow. So this is a little bit too early to get specific. But we will have a chance for measurable snow as we go through. And a more national view of the snow shower activity on Saturday only. This isn't the compiled amount through Saturday. This is just for Saturday. And it does look Look like southern Minnesota and parts of North Dakota with a chance for some measurable snow as well as the New England states and the Pacific Northwest and the Rocky Mountains. So that's a look at that. Now, as you took a look at the seven-day planner, there was that chance for some mighty cold air. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop that European model back up for the northern plains. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch this over to wind chill values, not just temperatures. So here we go. This is where we factor in that air that's moving in cold situations. And it gets downright nasty cold out there. So as we put this into motion, going into your Monday, we are going to see a few areas that get down into the sub-zero wind chills on your Monday, mor Monday uh, morning and Monday night. Now, the coldest of the air will shift off into Minnesota for Tuesday morning. Look at the valley. It's going to be crisp for sure with uh, some sub-zero wind chills out there. Then there's the warm-up, but here comes that clipper, and boom, here comes the wind chills on Wednesday. And again, unpleasant for sure. And uh, snow obstacle forming weather as we go into the um, middle to latter part of the week. Look at this, 25 to 30 below for wind chill factors. Here's another pre-system, pre-clipper warm up ahead on Friday. Then Friday system comes through with the north winds. Saturday, 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 snow making its way through on the warm side of this system and behind it, here comes the big dump, folks. And we're talking about some seriously cold wind chills for Saturday and into Sunday between 20 and 40. 40 below zero. This is pretty early. Yes, this could change, but it looks like the cold is taking hold. And fittingly enough, 
in time for December. So that's a look at that. Now let's take a look at what's going on across the region as we go into your night tonight. We're going to start with a look at those temperatures, shall we? Here's what's going on as you head into your Sunday night, and it is a little on the cool side out there, uh, to say the least. Here you go. As you have the coldest of the air out where the deep snow is, and we're already temperatures right now, 8 to 15 below zero out in the oil patch and out in parts of western North Dakota. Remember, Dickinson, uh, Hebron, these areas saw some uh, snowfall amounts, 8 to uh, almost 12 inches of snow. So anybody that has that fresh snow on the ground, some single digits to sub-zero temperatures. This is air temperatures, not the wind chill. Let me put the clock on here so you get a peek of that. Seven o'clock hour. It's cold here in the valley. We're three in Fargo, but 18 up to the north. A few clouds kind of holding on, helping things, and not as much snow on the ground up to the north. So get ready for the cold to take hold. What about the satellite and radar? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. As we head into the nighttime hours, we're fairly quiet in our neck of the woods. And that's pretty good. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, though, as we take a look at the national picture, the East Coast seeing most of the weather. Rocky Mountains getting a little bit of a taste of some snow. And the storm system that moved through, I'll have a video on here with details on how much snow fell in the Northern Plains and Central Plains, as well as the Great Lakes area from snow reports across the region. But for now, we're very quiet with an unsettled pattern ahead. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I got to tell you what, it's going to be a wonderful night tonight. So get out and enjoy because the Hold there is getting ready to take hold. I'll be up right here with updates throughout the week. And thank you so much. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, Hutch!